The My Place in Canadian History project is an attempt to make history relevant to students in the classroom. Uh, it is based on looking at history from a slightly different perspective and a slightly different lens, yet making Canadian history relevant to the, you know, to a young teenager. And the idea was to try and locate children within history, uh, not have history as something that they do that is apart from themselves, but make them a part of history. Uh, and to do this through a variety of different formats. When we looked at this project, the genesis of the project itself came from, uh, in a sense, both Steph and my journey. We were looking at how do we locate ourselves within the narrative of Canadian history? How do we fit in? Where does Canadian history become relevant to us? And then by extension, we looked at making this relevant to our students. Our students come from a plethora of different backgrounds. And how do things that happen in history relate to them? You know, how do they go about answering that question? What does it mean to me? Why does it matter to me? And then we conceived of this journey that the student can take through the course of their personal identity, making connections with Canadian identity and thereby locating themselves within that milieu of Canadian society. So in a sense, they become part of history and feel connected. That's the whole idea behind the project. We did a variety of different things as we evolved this project over the years. And it's become a multimedia project. Uh, they're using a whole bunch of technology to work through the project. We've incorporated historical thinking concepts into the project. They're looking at primary source documents. They're doing first person interviews. So there's a variety of different skills that come into play in completing this project. But it's something that's a rich task, which at the end of it makes that student feel, yeah, History matters to me. I'm a part of history. In essence, what we're looking at is how can we develop a sense of Canadian identity in our students who are so multicultural in terms of representation of different languages, cultures, religions, etc. And so the end goal is to have each student use his or her family history as the focal point around which to conduct meaningful historical research and thinking. I feel it's important for uh, students to be able to connect with the past so they have a better understanding of their family history within this larger Canadian narrative. Over the years of being in the classroom, uh, before I created the, the My Place in Canadian History with Darius, it, it became clear to me that teenagers are very curious beings and thus the My Place satisfies their need to comprehend their grandparents, their parents, their siblings and themselves. So by learning about your past, you can begin to define yourself and understand who you are and ultimately who you want to become. And that's really the stage where these teenagers are in their lives. They're, they're negotiating their surroundings and they're trying to understand, uh, they're trying to find meaning in what they do. And, and history, I think, provides that to a certain degree. Uh, ultimately with a project, by examining their family history, they're able to use tools like the historical thinking concepts to become thinkers, to be actively engaged in history and ultimately the end goal is to become active and um, responsible citizens. History becomes meaningful and relevant to students when they see it as a mystery to be solved or a question that needs to be answered and they can do this if they have the right tools with which to analyze history and that's where the historical thinking concepts come in. I get really excited about their initial response, which is, um, I'm Canadian. And um, it's really exciting to see on day one, when they have put up a wall and they've said, uh, there really isn't much to, to look at. My father's Irish, my mother's Scottish, and, but they're really Canadian. And then at the end of the semester, when they're able to put together this uh, multi-layered multimedia project, which tells a very different story. and you don't even need to say to the student, have, do you see the difference between day one and now? It's clear on their faces and on all the work and their finished product that they have really sat down and thought about their family history and analyzed primary sources and created this presentation. So I love that challenge. That's my favorite. Or the other challenge is uh, my parents just arrived within the last uh, 10 years and there's nothing to say. Well, there's everyone has a very interesting and powerful story to tell. They just have to find it within themselves.